So you've just created your mod for Halo MCC, but you're not sure how to upload it to the Steam Workshop. Fear not, I have the video for you. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to upload a Halo MCC mod to the Steam Workshop. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so here we are on Steam, and we're going to start it off with Steam and get this app that you need downloading before we actually get into extracting the map and beginning this. So, on the Steam store here, you want to go ahead and go to the search bar and type in Halo MCC Mod Uploader. And there it was, it just disappeared for me for some reason. I don't want equals. There we go. Halo MCC Mod Uploader. And you want to go ahead and for you it might, it might say get or something like that or play now. Um, go ahead and just press that. This will download the file uh, or the game in quotation marks. It's more so just a tool um, to your PC. And now once this is downloaded, you'll see it in your Steam library. It'll be displayed as Halo MCC Mod Uploader right there. All right, so before we actually open the MCC Mod Uploader, um, there's a few housekeeping things that we need to do. So the first thing I highly recommend doing is going ahead and making a folder called My Mods or uh, mods or something like that that you know that this is your mods or my halo mods whatever you want to title it just make sure you have a folder on your desktop that you know what it is so mine is here and I have a ton of different mods in here some of these actually aren't even released yet but we'll get into that um, so what are we doing here so we are going to create a brand new folder and call it the title of your mod so for example Let's go ahead and use AI Slayer Sword Base for this, for this example. <clears throat> you will not have any of this stuff in the folder. This is all created that you will create um, with the MCC mod uploader. So keep that in mind as we continue this tutorial. So if it is a firefight map, which it, it doesn't really matter, you're going to have firefight multiplayer uh, campaigns, uh, whatever it is, if it's a campaign map, firefight multiplayer, you just got to have a folder called firefight multiplayer or campaigns and then you want to have a folder called images and a folder called maps so with these three folders created uh for me it's a firefight mod um so we have some different images that we have created um from this mod to upload to the steam workshop to preview to the people that might want to download this and we also have a dot map here so for an example let's go ahead and create a brand new folder like i said i just wanted to show you that as a layout base layout we're gonna call this my mod all right so that folder is created here we're gonna go ahead and go into it and recreate and we're going to create three new folders one is going to be firefight one is going to be images and one is going to be called maps so with these three folders created we now have a basis of our maps and when you actually export your map it will be in the maps folder there is a video coming out um, this week that will detail how to export maps smoothly through uh, HREK, H3EK, and all that gibberish. Um, but basically, you will have a map here. So if we do for an example, let's move this over here. So we got the folder here. This is going to be, or this, we got the map file here that you exported from HREK. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually do this. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to press copy and we're going to go to that my mod folder. And we're going to go ahead and paste that map into the maps folder of your my mod folder and then just for basics of images i'm going to go ahead and take a few of these images and we are going to go ahead and go into my mod and we're going to paste these images just as a reference for images go ahead and type it or make the title of that image loading screen and now we need a mod thumbnail this looks like a decent screenshot let's go ahead and make this thumbnail let's go ahead and open up halo mcc mod uploader so this is going to go ahead and open up this is accession this is your halo mcc mod uploader tool <clears throat> so if we actually take a look here we have some modded folders in here but you guys will not have any of this stuff so what we're going to go ahead and do for you guys is go into configure you're going to press add folder and then you're going to press browse so when you press browse you need to navigate your way to your mods folders that you are uploading to MCC. So for me, it's my mods. We're gonna go ahead and press on it and then press select folder and save that. And then when we go back, we would refresh it and you won't really see any folders in here because we actually haven't created the mod yet. So after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and press this create button, create. 
Now, at the top, you'll see mod folder. Go ahead and press browse. And we're gonna go ahead and browse to the my mod folder. Select that folder and keep in mind the title is my mod. Let's paste that in the title. And for the description, let's just put, this is my mod for Halo Reach. And now the mod version, um, you would probably want to go with version 1.0.10 uh, because this is probably your first version of the upload. And go ahead and every time you upload one, I really like to do this. Just press set to latest game version and set to latest maximum game version. It's just good practice to make sure that the mod is updated to the latest version. Now, game title, we're going to go ahead and go to Halo Reach Omaha. And since this is a firefight map, we're going to press add on firefight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paste my mod in the title and description, my mod for Halo Reach. Now this description here will display in game. Now your scenario file name. This is very important that you get this correct. Let's go ahead and navigate to my, my, my building, uh, uh, files here, I guess you could say. So for me, it won't actually be beachhead. It will be something else. So what you're going to want to do is this is going to be the, the, uh, the, the link to the scenario file of the mod. So if your scenario, let's go ahead and get into HREK here. That would be from tags, levels, and then from levels to whatever map or scenario you have modded, for me it'd be FF10 prototype. Um, that is where you're going to want to put the scenario file name. So we're gonna drag this over here and we're gonna type in levels. And let me actually open this really quick as well. Let's go back into here. And I wanna just make sure that I'm typing this in because it has to be 100% correct. So it's backslashes. So we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna put that right there. And we're gonna go levels slash firefight slash FF10 underscore prototype. So this is the basically the the uh, way to your scenario from the levels because it's the only folder that Accession has access to is your folders for your levels. Um, after you type that, you of course want to put it again because this is going from your uh, levels folder. So let me drag this over here again. There's going to be a little bit of a lengthy video here. I just wanted to make sure I detail everything. So it's going to be from levels to firefight to FF10 prototype and then again to FF10 prototype to get to that scenario file. That's why you put FF10 prototype twice. If your scenario file is named something different, for example, if your scenario file is named uh, FF10 prototype underscore slayer, you will put underscore slayer there. If the folder is named the same as the scenario, you would put FF10 underscore prototype underscore slayer slash FF10 underscore prototype underscore slayer. You want to make sure that you do that correctly, otherwise it will not load in game. Now, we have quite a few images that we can install here and, and put for it. So, for images for thumbnail, let's go ahead and press browse. And we already, well, luckily we're already in our mod folder. Let's go ahead and go to images. So, you'll notice that it has to be a .png file. So, what I would recommend doing is if you have Photoshop, get Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, um, find an alternative and just basically convert these images into JPEG files. Now let's go ahead and upload that as the thumbnail. Thumbnail, press OK. And large image, we're going to go ahead and get loading screen. And go ahead and get loading screen once again. And go ahead and get loading screen once again. So that's three loading screens and the thumbnail. Um, so now let's go ahead and save that. Control S, Control S. Now let's go ahead and X out of this. And let's press refresh. And now after you press refresh, you'll notice your mod is listed. If, let's go ahead and go edit again. And let's just review everything, make sure everything is correct. Let's go to that JSON file. And everything looks pretty good. It looks like we are ready to actually go ahead and check this thing out in MCC. You don't want to you know, upload a broken mod, which I have done in the past. Don't do it, not smart. So what we're going to do is go to Halo Reach Custom Firefight, Modded Missions, 
and we're gonna look for my mod sometimes it won't be listed here you might have to recreate it and well there it is my mod and here we are there we are your mod works correctly now like i said i highly recommend just going through and making sure everything is working now when we go to my mod we're gonna go ahead and press on it and press upload now this is going to be your workshop description and title you can change this um according to what your uh, folder is I would recommend keeping it the same as your folder and of course get a preview image for it So we're gonna get that thumbnail there and all you got to do next is press upload new item It is going to upload it to the steam workshop and um, I'm just gonna wait a moment Let this upload and I'll get right back to you guys. All right So now you'll notice that your mod is published on the steam workshop There's one more step that I would recommend doing and that is going ahead and adding some more preview images so how are you going to do that? You just press on the add slash edit images and videos, press choose files, and go ahead and navigate to that my mod folder. We're going to go ahead and grab this one, press upload, and it's going to go ahead and upload that image. Go ahead and upload the next one. But if you have a YouTube video showcasing your mod, you can go ahead and actually plug it in here and it will display on the main page. You just want to press save and continue and boom, your preview images are there and people can check out the mod. Now, one more thing that you need to do is actually go ahead and change the visibility to public and your mod will be published to the public and on the Halo MCC Steam Workshop. So that folks is how you upload a mod to MCC. I know it was a bit of a lengthy video. I tried to make it as quick as I could, but I wanted to make sure that I covered every possible uh, thing that could happen or what you're doing um, with in terms of uploading this as well. Um, and of course, join my Discord. If you have not already, join my Discord server. We have a lot of folks there that are hanging out every day. Uh, playing some video games um, and stuff like that and there's a support section So if you have questions about my mods go ahead and join my discord the link is here in the description down below and on screen right here as well So you can go uh, you can go ahead and join if you would like to but uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me today guys Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if it helped you out like I said drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload again My name is Icy Vice, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out